Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Path of Exile with Lone Debater 7. And today we are going to be showing you how to get to the Act 2 town um, and then what to do once you get there. So I am going to grab these gloves because that is a decent set for us. Because it's got two blues and a red. Uh, which is, technically speaking, one of our, our spell combinations. Um, we'll ultimately want that on a wand uh, just because boots can have up to four sockets. Um, Whereas wands are maxed at three, so it's not worth uh, putting like a three socket item in where you could have a four, um, if you've got a four, that is. Um, anyway, we're just going through, killing a bunch of shit, leveling up our gems. We did gain a passive level, and at this point, we've maxed out the uh, mana stuff, right? Um, so what I want to do is go for uh, the... Ravenous Horde is the next, like, perk, I guess, or main perk that we're working towards. I'll show you once we go in. So, like, if I go in, we are working towards this one. So, we're going to take this intelligence point. Um, these guys right here it can be good. You get the essences off of them. You just push it a couple times, then it'll spawn a boss monster and some minions, and you get the essence as the reward. So, cool. We got all that. Um, this is the exit right here. So not a big deal. The forest encampment um, is the city for the Act 2. Uh, we do, I think we might still have some side quests that we can take care of uh, in Act 1. But first things first, whenever you enter a new town, talk to all the homies, get all the quests, um, and do this. So there we go. Uh, I, Yeah, this guy you can sell to, so I'm just going to identify some of this stuff and see we might upgrade our wand because that is a three blue it's not all linked though so these orbs of fusings can be used to change the links between sockets so that was unlucky removed a link i do have a couple more in here so let's see if we get lucky and can link all of them cool we did so i'm gonna change out this one for this one because we still maintain the resist but it's a better wand um, the other thing, I guess we can put Stormbrand and Flame Dash inside of this. That's not bad. Uh, Raging Spirit, Arcane Surge. Okay, uh, this needs to be Flame Dash, and this can be Stormbrand. Uh, the rest, I am just going to take some of my Scrolls of Wisdom out of my Currency tab, so we can finish identifying everything. Uh, you will find that sometimes you aren't able to... Uh, identify everything before you sell it that's totally fine not a big deal but it is like if, if you've got the scrolls definitely identify we've talked about that a few times um, anyway here we go sell all this or well actually I'm gonna keep these gloves because they have better sockets than these ones um, for our build anyway it depends on your build as far as what sockets you're gonna be looking for um, but either way Got it set up. I might have... Nope, don't have it in my currency tab. That's fine. Da, da, da. Sorry, my my inventory is like a, a fucking mess. Uh, all things considered, just because I'm playing it... Yeah, like your stash tabs uh, are used for more than just one... Like any characters within the league can access the tabs. So we're in Act 2. We're going to go to the Riverways first. Um... And basically on this, what you're going to want to do, well, I guess we lost all of our zombies for some reason, which is interesting. It's probably because we unequipped a gem. Not a big deal. We'll just summon some more. Uh, they do take a little bit of mana to do, so bear that in mind. So there we go. We got our five zombies back up. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pop a pot to restore some mana. And basically, we are just going to push through this map, follow the pathway. Uh, you can flame dash across the water there, so make, if you've got flame dash, just do that. It saves you a bunch of time. Um, and be sure to like actively use your Quicksilver Flasks as well. It does increase your movement speed, um, so you'll be able to clear a lot faster if you're using it all the time. And it will continue uh, refilling uh, as you kill more guys, so... It's worth using the flasks when they're up. Um, it doesn't stack, though, so, like, if you just used it, there's no point in using it again. Uh, greater mana flask, that actually is probably worth something for us, so cool. Do that. 
Uh, we do have a skill gem. And we should be able to flash across. I call it flash. It's not flash. That's just from playing League of Legends. Uh, it's called flash, the little skill that jumps you. So I, it's flame dash is what I'm using there to jump those gaps. Um, I just call. I might call it flash from time to time because that's yeah. Anyway, that's just me. Don't worry about it. Not a big deal. So there we go. We got the portal or we got the waypoint. We're still following the map, and it will take us to the Western Forest. We're gonna go in there. Uh, and basically we're going to follow the path again. I think this is where one of the bosses are. So there's basically three guys you got to kill in Act 2 uh, before you can access um, the bigger guy or the boss or whatever. So I believe one is in the Western Forest. Why didn't that grab? Cool. It's also good just to kind of clear the map and get the waypoints as well because then you can... You know teleport back there if you need to if you miss something or whatever i know i've got that passive skill kind of just chilling there it's not a big deal though i think all we're getting out of the next one is intelligence points so it's not not the end of the world that we haven't applied it yet we'll do it in a minute i mean honestly we don't we're not having an issue with these enemies either so yeah anyway uh at a certain point you're gonna want to so there's black guards in here we'll kill them all should be relatively easy um all things considered this is adariri so that is one of them so we needed that thomic emblem from him it'll open this seal which opens up this pathway to the prisoner's gate so we'll go in here i think there's a waypoint in here as well so i accidentally double clicked my quick silver flask which was a noob rookie mistake uh, don't do that it just wasted charge on your flask without any real gain um, so now that we've got a secondary skill this armageddon brand if you cast that which is my w key it puts down like a little spot that does lightning damage so that can help you clear some of the tougher enemies like the bosses and whatnot so cool oh this is back to act one interesting uh all right so we're gonna go back to the western forest and see if we can't find the other entrance should be around yep should be right over here cool the weaver's chamber so this is a side quest um, I do believe you get a passive point for completing it, though. Basically, you're killing a giant-ass spider. Um, kind of fun. Uh, but anyway, you don't have to do it. Uh, but since it's off of this part of the map, might as well, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, we're down on our zombies. That is why we don't have a bunch of stuff. So pay attention to that, because... Your zombies are like your best friend starting off because they help absorb some of the damage and they increase how much damage you are dealing to the enemies on the map. Um, they will run out in front of you and like kill stuff even if the stuff hasn't spotted you yet. Okay, so there are some beasts in here. So there's stuff called the Menagerie, which is used for specific crafting things. I don't really understand how all of that works, but when you got these beasts on the map, basically you kill them um, this little dude will come and capture him, and you'll be able to fight him again later in your menagerie, uh, which allows you to do crafting recipes and stuff, so if you've got him here, might as well kill him, like, it doesn't hurt you any, sometimes they will drop better, uh, items too, uh, than just the standard stuff, because they are stronger, but, as you can see, sometimes you get killed uh, so not not a big deal that's our first death on the character kind of disappointing because that was not that hard of a boss i just wasn't paying attention to my life because i was busy talking um so bear that in mind pay attention to your life and what's going on on the map so you can escape if you need to uh otherwise you might have a problem i don't under okay cool whatever so bunch of stuff just dropped here none of it's all that good so we're just gonna leave it now there is a strong box here and it's a blacksmith strong box which i think has an increased chance of giving you uh currency items maybe uh well i say that and then we get no currency so that's fine um 
yeah, sometimes, like, getting through the map can be a pain in the ass because you go the wrong way and then you gotta backtrack, but that's why you want to have Quicksilver Flask and stuff like that set up. Um, because it does help you. So, that right there would have killed us. Almost certainly would have killed us, so I'm glad that we flashed away uh, because we would have died. Um, let's see. I guess he must be over this direction. Nope. Wow, we just straight up went the wrong way, um, which is fine. Doesn't really hurt you. It just means that it takes you longer to clear the map, um, but not a big deal. Go through. Uh, we are getting, we're just past the 10 minute mark, I guess, so we got a little more time. Um, but I think we'll probably call it after we kill the uh, weaver. So basically what we're looking for at this point is there should be a staircase that takes us down another level. And then on that level, we should be able to fight the boss. Um, cool, some magics. Awesome. Wow, we've got three skill points that are kind of just chilling, so... Before we go into the Weaver's Nest, I am just going to apply those because I think that's enough to get over to the first. There we go. So, one more point and we'll be able to start increasing our minion attack damage some more, um, which will be good for us. So, this is where we fight the boss. Not a big deal. Just bear in mind that they are relatively tough. Um, I don't know what type of damage they do, uh, in all honesty, but yeah. So, there's a couple of phases to this one. Um, he spawns spiders pretty much the whole time. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, definitely use your W skill, your uh, Storm Brand, I think is what that is, uh, because it puts those little cursed lightning traps on the ground, and if enemies are standing on it, it does uh, DPS over time, so it, it definitely helps you increase your sustain and everything like that. Uh, also, if your zombies start dropping, be sure to bring them back up. It's worth spending the mana on it. Um... Ooh, okay. He hit us pretty good on that one. Not too big of a deal, though. There we go. We dropped our storm. or I, I forget what that is, but whatever. So we got a Grand Life Staff, or Life Flask out of it, so that's actually pretty good. Um, we will swap out one of our mediums for it. And we do have a rare Greater Flask, so we will swap out this one for that. Cool. And that is the boss. Pretty easy. We're going to go back to town uh, just using a portal scroll because might as well. Um, and then we should have some quests to turn in. I'm going to sell some items real fast because, yeah, it's worth doing. So I could upgrade this. No, nah, that one's better. So we'll wait to upgrade our chest. Um, there we go. Get some more currency. Throw in these guys. I think it's tab two, yeah. Okay, so this is one of the items that you need for the end, so hold on to that. Now we do get a gem reward, minion speed support, control destruction support is the one you're gonna want. Um, it's a little bit more powerful uh, than the other option, so bear that in mind. So let's see, where do we wanna put that? So we've got Flame Dash, Stormbrand. I mean, really, this is where you'd want a four link, so you can do that. So I guess we will put this on our on this one. Even though there isn't a gem in the red, uh, these two should still be linking to each other and giving each other both uh, buffs. So bear that in mind. If you are having an issue figuring out where to go next, you can use these to figure it out. These orange ones don't matter, so ignore those. This is an optional quest, ignore that. If you click on the exclamation point, it'll show you where you need to go on the map. So there's one in the western forest, there's one up here, and there's one off of the riverways. So we probably need to go back to the western forest and deal with it. We also have Chamber of Sins is up that way. Way Forward is back in Lion Eyes Watch. So I think if we go back to Lion Eyes Watch, we can turn in um, some quests potentially. We'll, we'll see. Like we'll back there yeah so we've whenever you see these that means you've got quest rewards uh typically speaking so it's worth going back and kind of doing that so we get a 
either a skill book or a regret. So we get another passive point, which is nice because now we can start increase increase in our minion damage before we continue on with Act 2. Um, I guess let's go back to the riverways and see if we can find that other uh, exit to basically get the other guy. So I, be I believe it's the wetlands. That might be right. Uh, kill Oak. Yeah, so Oak is going to be in this area. He's one of the bosses. Not a big deal. They're all fairly easy to kill, at, at, at least with this build. Um, they're fairly easy to kill, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, ooh, Grand Mana Flask. Fancy. So as you can see, that Grand Mana Flask has a higher base stat, but since the rare smaller flask that we have or since the smaller flask that we have is rare uh it still provides more mana to us so the way i like to do it is i keep whatever restores the most health mana whatever it's called um or whatever it's restoring on my main uh or my first hotkey for my flask and then i put uh the lower one on the second so those tree roots is where you end up going for the final boss, so it's right by the waypoint, so it's good to grab the waypoint for the wetlands so you can come back to it really quick. Um, I think Oak is still on this map somewhere, though, if I'm not mistaken, so we just got to find him. Uh, you can kind of tell where he's at because I believe they got an exclamation point on him, and they also might... Uh, Um, you, you can also kind of tell by what's on the map. So, like, it'll be on a raised hill with uh, armaments around it. It'll look kind of like a fort. So, bear that in mind. You can find it that way. Uh, let's see. So, maybe up this direction. Yeah, here we go. So, Oak is in here. Basically, what you do is you talk to him. So you can decide if you're going to help or not. I always kill him uh, because it's kind of like might as well. It doesn't hurt you typically. And normally it's a hell of a lot easier. So this guy jumps around a lot. Uh, so bear that in mind when he slams down on the ground. Like it, it does do some damage. So just watch out for that. Uh, we do need to raise some more zombies. and kind of the way you play this character is you have your flame dash as your escape spell and then you get close enough to cast your w um on them so Stormbrand, to give them lightning damage and then keep all your minions up so they you know damage them as well so we got oak dealt with now we need to go to the western forest because we got that one unlocked already um, then we are going to go the opposite direction out of the town to get the third guy. So let's go to the Western Forest and see if we can't get this guy found as well. I want to say it's this one where they're normally on the side. It, it does depend. Like, all the maps are randomly generated. So bear, bear that in mind. Just because it's in one spot on mine doesn't mean it's going to be in the same spot on yours. Uh, so this was the wrong direction, it looks like. But we will just check down here as well to make sure. We do need to kill some enemies to get more zombies up. And now we've got two of the beasts after us, which I guess isn't a big deal, but kind of annoying. So let's try looking over this way. Cool. Got our zombies back up. And hopefully we can find... I forget which one it is in here. Um, a Lyra, I guess. Kind of what it looks like. So let's check up this way above the waypoint. Might be up here. Yeah, here we go. So Lyra's in here. Same thing as with Oak. You just click on them and decide if you're going to help or kill. Like I said, I always kill him because it might as well.
cool. We got our Stormbrand cast on him. There we go. And as you can see, pretty easy. We got them DPS down pretty damn quickly. Uh, now we're going to go back to town because the other area is back the other direction. Um, we're going to go ahead and kill the third boss uh, next time just because we are getting close to that 20 minute mark. And I know that sometimes it's a little nicer if the videos aren't half an hour long. Um, with that being said, if you enjoyed the episode today, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7 and we will see ya.